with events in Boston, I've been thinking about how science and technology can help keep the public safe. What we're working on here at, at MIT is a new concept called plant nanobionics. We've been studying how nanoparticles can be placed inside of a living plant, how we can control where those particles go, and how they can give it unusual properties. If you want to modify the plant, if you want to give it new functions, you need particles that are of a size that can get inside the natural pores of, of the plant and can exchange or swap out the existing building blocks of the plant. We can take any existing plant uh, or tree that you would find in your neighborhood or along the street to make it into an explosive sensing plant. We infiltrate the plant with the nanoparticles, so it sits out there in the environment. And when we're interested in that area, we'll walk up to the plant with a cell phone, and it will, the plant will send back a signal to the, to the phone, and uh, it's able uh, to, via the cloud and the email, uh, give you a real-time update of the plant status and whether there are any uh, bombs in the environment. A and B have two different sensors that we put into the leaf. So you can see over time how they change. And if we see this clear fall in the, the sensor brightness, we know that this is a clear signature that there's a presence of a bomb in the environment. We have a lot of security cameras that appear in our daily life that make some people uncomfortable. Um, so we are hoping that the plant be a natural guardian Engineers like myself haven't viewed plants as the starting point of technology. If we want to be secure in a post-9-11 world, do we want to have electronic sensors all around us? Is it cheaper, more effective to put a network of plants, things we want to have in our surroundings, in our environment already, and create a network of sensors that, that's going to be integrated already with our environment?